Are you recording? All right. Josh Stinton is a charity adventurer and he'll be cycling 700 kilometres through Arctic northern Norway. Having never skied before, Josh Stinton managed to complete a 90 kilometre race in Sweden. You're a pretty amazing guy, Josh Stinton. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. What on earth are you doing? What I want to do is I want to challenge everybody in this room from this moment forward to become the lead and active role in the story of your own life. Like if if my life story was a book, uh, is that a book that I'd actually like to read? A charity adventurer now, you've been for two years. What exactly is that? Um, I'm working it out as we go. <laughs> so I came across an interesting model of if I sign up for really difficult things that I don't know how to do and do the hardest thing in that in the world and then learn how to do it and share that experience the whole time raising awareness and funds for a small charity, then I have the firepower behind me to actually complete it. Yeah, but, but basically what it is that I've done is um, they say you can live a life by design or a life by default, and I made a conscious decision to design my life to dedicate my time and effort to help as many charities, help as many people as I could. And so, from from a ten thousand foot view, you know the challenges themselves are not easy. I mean, even just watching the footage there, yeah, kind of just takes me back in a bit of a heart flutter. Actually, I'm just surprised you're not talking like this. Well, then we went down there and I did that. Well, that's because it was about nine months ago. Because I was for about half a year. <laughs> now, listen, you, all of this for some very serious stuff. I'm here in Lebanon to see firsthand what life is like here for the refugees in these camps. That's the whole point of, of these challenges that I set myself up for um, through, throughout Spire. The number one thing we have to remember is to have fun, and with these guys, I don't think we're ever going to forget that.